Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've been working on this for quite some time. Then I found out that my 3D printer is too small to actually get a quality print out of this. And then I kind of gave up on the, the idea. Um, I then found a fellow South African who can actually print these for me at a big enough on the proper size. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, these are HVAC or AC control covers. You will see on this one, it actually has the logo of Jeep Nation UAE on it. And today I just want to show you how easy these ones are to install or use. Um, now, I know that a lot of guys want these for dust covers on the front of their Jeeps. And I think for the most of the dust, it will help. Um, it will help you with the movement of the the buttons on the front of the the controller but jeep did not think of actually like it's amazing right these controllers are waterproof hey <laughs> they're not dust proof uh dust comes in from the back dust comes in from the front um and some people have told me that doesn't matter if you put these on or not that they actually don't work. Um, dust still gets in. And I can understand that. Dust comes in from the back. But I don't know how much dust comes in from the back. Honestly, I haven't had an issue with my um, buttons. I almost never use that control panel. Uh, Hill Descent, um, I have only used once or twice. And then the stability control, I never use because, well, yeah. Uh, I have a kill switch for that. Check out my other video um, on how to install a kill switch on a Jeep JL if you want to see how that is done. Um, so yeah, let's pop you guys over to this side and then I'll show you what my cover looks like. Okay, so I changed the angle so that you can see it from this side. This is your unit. Um, if you want to con still control your climate control, you can technically do it on the screen. Um, and this is the dust cover. It's nice and flexible, made out of TPU, and it's really a one-handed install. You push it in on the gap between the unit, and there you go. The HVAC unit in the middle has a little gap that goes around it, and I've made this lip so that it can go in there, and you can easily remove it as well. I have also thought about doing this with custom logos, custom names in it, so that you can add your Jeep's name in there if you want. And I think it's really simple to use, simple to remove. And this material that I'm using is, well, it's heat resistant. I have tried it with PLA and it actually warped and it wasn't even installed. It was just laying in the back of the Jeep and at the angle that it laid, it warped. So just to bring it back um i have tried this with other materials as well the tpu that it's currently being printed in is nice and flexible and it's easy to put in and out um and it comes with a nice little textured finished on the front there as well i think this will work really really well let me show you this was one of the test prints that we made um and I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a bit of deformation in the plastic, uh, the PLA plastic one compared to the TPU one that it has broken off an ear there. But you can actually see how this one has deformed as well. And this just laid in the back of the car and it's winter here in the UAE. So PLA, yeah, not going to work. TPU, definitely the way to go. And yeah, that is a wrap on installing these in the Jeep and how I have designed them and made them. I will probably have a few more of these. Like I said, I do want to change them to possibly customize them as well. But for now, this is going to be my cover. And with the Jeep Nation cover on it, I think it looks, it looks pretty good. So if you guys like this video and want to see what else I get up to 3D printing on the Jeep, please like, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see me do more uh, 3D printing stuff like this on the Jeep. Or if you want to see what else I have already done 3D print printing on the Jeep, 
um, have a look at the other videos on my channel. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.